All right, we're in the uh, Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. We're in Chapter 3. I'm going to go on page 3-2. This will be uh, Pressure Altitude. Pressure Altitude is the height above a standard datum plane, SDP, which is a theoretical level where the weight of the atmosphere is 29.92 uh, HD, like millibars of mercury. Uh, is 1013.2 millibars as measured by a barometer. An altimeter is essentially a sensitive essentially a sensitive barometer calibrated to indicate altitude in a standard atmosphere. If the altitude is set to if the altimeter is set to 29.2 standard, the altitude indicated is the pressure altitude. In atmospheric pressure changes, as atmospheric pressure changes, the SDP may be below at or above sea level. Pressure altitude is important as a basis for determining the airplane's performance, as well as for assigning flight levels to airplanes operating at or above 18,000 feet. The pressure altitude can be determined by either of two methods, setting the barometric scale of the altimeter to 29.92 and reading the indicated altitude, applying a correction factor to the indicated altitude according to the reported altimeter setting, density altitude, SDP, Let's go with a STP standard datum plane. SDP is a theor theoretical pressure altitude, but aircraft operate in a non-standard atmosphere, and the term density altitude is used for correlating aerodynamic performance in the in the non-standard atmosphere. Density altitude is the vertical distance above sea level in the standard atmosphere at which a given density is to be found. The density of air has significant effects on the aircraft's performance because as air becomes less dense, it reduces power because the engine takes in less air, thrust because a propeller is less efficient in thin air, lift because the thin air exerts less force on the airfoils. Dizzy altitude is pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature. As the density of the air increases, lower density altitude, Aircraft performance increases and conversely as air density decreases, higher density altitude, aircraft performance decreases. A decrease in air density means a high density altitude. An increase in air density means a low density altitude. Density altitude is used in calculating aircraft performance because under standard atmospheric conditions, air at each level in the atmosphere not only has a specific density, its pressure altitude and density altitude identify the same level. The computation of density altitude involves consideration of pressure, pressure altitude, and temperature. Since aircraft performance data at any level is based upon air density under standard date conditions, such performance data apply to air density levels that may not be identical with altimeter indications. Under conditions higher or lower than standard, these levels cannot be determined directly from the altimeter. Density altitude is determined by first finding pressure altitude and then correcting this added altitude for non-standard temperature variations. Since density varies directly with pressure and inversely with temperature, a given pressure altitude may exist for a wide range of temperatures by allowing the density to vary. However, a known density occurs for any one temperature and pressure altitude. The density of the air has a pronounced effect on an aircraft, on an aircraft and engine performance. Regardless of the actual altitude of which the aircraft is operating, it will perform at as though it were operating at an altitude equal to the existing density altitude. Air density is affected by changes in altitude, temperature, and humidity. High density altitude refers to thin air, while low density altitude refers to dense air. The conditions that result in a high density altitude are high elevations, low atmospheric pressures, high temperatures, high humidity, or some combination of these factors. Lower elevations, high atmospheric pressure, low temperatures, and low humidity are more indicative of low density altitude. Hmm. Effects of pressure and density. Since air is a gas, it can be compressed or expanded. When air is compressed, a greater amount of air can occupy a given volume. Conversely, when pressure on a given volume of air is decreased, the air expands and occupies a greater space. At a lower pressure, the original column of air contains a smaller mass of air. The density is decreased because density is directly proportional to pressure. If the pressure is doubled, the density is doubled. If the pressure is lower, the density is lower. The statement is true only at a constant temperature. Effects. Where are we at? 
effects of temperature on density. Increasing the temperature of a substance decreases its density. Conversely, decreasing the temperature increases the density. Thus, the density of air varies inversely with temperature. This statement is true only at a constant pressure. In the atmosphere, both temperature and pressure decrease with altitude and having conflicting effects upon density. However, the fairly rapid drop in pressure and altitude is increased usually has the dominating effect. Hence, pilots can expect the density to increase with altitude. Wow, effects of humidity on density. We'll hold off uh, right there. Effects of humidity uh, on density we'll go into next. So we're just in right here, 3-3. Uh, See ya.